guys happy monday um so first off before i start the video i just want to let you guys know if my phone rings i apologize but i have to have the ringer on because mozzie is at the vet having uh his surgery uh having his cyst removed and his dental done so it's about noon right now and i'm assuming they're probably going to be calling me soon to let me know how everything went and when i can pick him up so Anyways, so if you're on my Facebook page or you're on my Instagram page, you guys know that I completely failed at staying off social media this weekend. <laughs> because first Saturday I had to post to let you guys know all these had these um, schnauzer pillow chums back in stock. Now, I don't know for sure if it's a schnauzer. Um, my daughter thinks it's supposed to be a husky, but um, I'm going to say it's a schnauzer because it looks like a schnauzer to me. Um, but they have these back in stock. They had them a couple years ago at Christmas time, and I hadn't seen them since, at least at my Aldi. And they had them back in stock, and they're only $14.99. So I wanted to get on Facebook to let you guys know because the sale on them wasn't... They were in the flyer for uh, to be out... On the floor on April 3rd well I don't know if your Aldi's is like mine but my Aldi's constantly put stuff that's in their next week flyers on the floor before that flyers out and then everything's gone so your Aldi's might be the same as mine I don't know if it's like a policy thing or just something my Aldi's does I don't know but run and check out your Aldi if you want to get one of these uh, for your schnauzer or for your dog this fits um, this, two of my schnauzers could lay on this comfortably. So this would be good for even a dog bigger than a schnauzer. So somebody asked me if this is the 40 inch size and I have no idea. Um, I already threw away the packaging that was on it and I haven't measured it. I don't think it's, because I know some people said they had them at Costco a long time ago and they were bigger than the ones at Aldi. So I'm assuming those are probably the 40 inch and these ones are probably a little bit smaller. But like I said, two of my dogs could lay on this if they wanted to be laying next to each other <laughs> so yeah and then i also had to post about my spartans winning uh their basketball game against duke i was so excited i thought i was going to have a heart attack the last five minutes of that game um i was in doubt that they could beat them and they, they hung in there and they beat them and i was so happy i had to post something because i know a lot of you are spartans fans too or you just follow the college basketball I'm so happy, and I can't wait for him to play the next game. <laughs> I get very, my husband and I get very loud, and it's so funny because the dogs were looking at us like, "What is wrong with you?" Mar, or, uh, not Marley. Uh, Magnum started growling for a couple seconds because we were so loud at the end. He was growling like, "What is going on?" <laughs> so yeah, so I couldn't help myself. I had to post him because I just. I start thinking, oh, I gotta share this with everybody. I gotta share this with everybody on my uh, Chanel's Around page. So yeah, I totally failed. I totally fa failed, but I did have a nice relaxing weekend. Um, didn't do a whole lot. Had a couple naps um, and they were so nice. Um, it's funny that when I go to bed at night and I'm exhausted when I go to bed at night usually, um, that I can't sleep comfortable, I'm restless. Um, my legs are, are hurting, my hips will hurt. And, but then if I lay down and take a nap on this couch, which it's comfortable, but it's not a bed. My bed's very comfortable. Um, I lay on the couch with a blanket, with a TV on, and a dog laying on top of me, three other dogs surrounding me. I doze off and it's like the deepest sleep I've ever had. It is the weirdest thing ever. Um, I told my husband, I said, maybe I should let the dog sleep with me at night. <laughs> But yeah, those naps were just awesome. Awesome with the dogs all laying around me. It's so weird. Like I wasn't stiff. I wasn't anything. I mean, I didn't lay there for hours by no means, but those naps were so relaxing. <laughs> what else did we do this weekend? I went shopping with my daughter. Um, she had a great discount going on it. She works at JCPenney and I got some awesome deals. 50% off of clearance, 50% off of sale items. I got some great deals on some stuff. So I went shopping, took naps. We looked at four homes. Um, sadly, I don't think any of them for, are for us. 
One of them, I would have had to let the dogs out through the garage door to go to the bathroom. I'm not having that. One of them, they just, they just weren't what we were looking for. And since we've been waiting a long time to buy a home, which we've, we've bought homes in the past, but we've been running for a while um, since we moved back from Tennessee. We've been running for a while and we want this house to be what we really want. So like I said, it may take us a long time to find uh, the house that's right for us. So, but it was fun looking at some homes. Uh, it's always fun looking at homes. I know my husband, he does it for a living. So he's like, eh, <laughs> for me, I'm excited. <laughs> so anyways, yes, Mozzie is at the vet. We dropped him off at eight o'clock this morning. And, um, she, the doctor called me about, I think it was about 45 minutes to an hour later because they always run blood work before your dog has um, surgery. And she called to let me know before they started the surgery that one of Mozzie's liver enzymes is slightly elevated, just slightly elevated. She said the liver, the liver has five enzymes that they uh, run tests for. And this one can, when it's elevated, could be a sign of diabetes. It could be a sign of Cushing's disease. I think she also said it can be a sign that there's an inflammation somewhere. Um, I can't remember exactly what she said about that. I'll have to ask her when I pick him up. And she said it could also just be a sign of that he's getting older. He's seven years old. He'll be eight years old in November. So she said it could just be a sign of getting up there in age. So that's what I'm hoping it is. And like she said, it's just slightly elevated. And I asked her, I said, well, this, is this a problem for continuing on with his surgery? And she said, oh no, it's no problem at all. They just need to call and let me know before they do anything to make sure I still wanted them to proceed. And I said, yes, since it's not gonna affect anything to do with his cyst removal or dental. Um, so, um, yeah, so of course I Googled Cushing's disease because I, I've heard people say that their schnauzers have had it. I've heard, a lot of people mention their schnauzers get that. Um, so I don't know if it's something they're prone to or not. I've never Googled it before. He's got this cow ear right on my foot, scraping it. It's not very comfortable. <laughs> um, so of course I Googled it and I shouldn't have because now I'm worrying, you know, about it. And, uh, Anyways, so I guess we'll see. She said that we'll talk more about what we can do further. Um, if we want to do further testing uh, to see why it may be elevated. So I'll have to wait and talk to her when we pick up Mozzie. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's about it's 1218 right now. And I'm expecting they should be calling me here pretty soon uh, to let me know how everything went. See if he had to have any teeth pulled. Um, his teeth weren't really bad, so I'm hoping maybe they didn't have to pull any teeth, but, um, the likelihood that they'll probably have to is, you know, they probably will have to maybe a couple, um, we'll see. Um, but she said the assist will be easy. It's not one where they have to like cut a lot around it. They just cut a little incision and scoop it out. She said, <laughs> so he'll only probably have like three stitches, just a couple stitches there. Um, and then the little bump on his neck he has, um, which I think it's called, like, it's, I think it's called an epidermal, I think she called it an epidermal cyst. I'm not sure. Um, it's just a teeny little bump they're going to remove too, since he's already going to be under. She said that may have one stitch. So, um, I will chuck back in. <laughs> I will chuck back in after I go pick up Mozzie and, um, fill you guys in more. So we'll see you soon. All right, guys, Mozzie is home, and he is doing good. It was funny when we <laughs> were in the vet's office, we could hear him barking in the back. And they said at first when he woke up from the anesthesia, he was quiet. Then he started howling, and then he just started barking. <laughs> so, yes, I have his crate out here in the uh, living room, so he can be out here with everyone, and I can keep an eye on him and uh he can um rest so i got a bowl of i just gave him some um canned dog food because he did end up having to have four teeth pulled and he does have a uh, couple stitches in his mouth max i <laughs> you're such a camera hog anyways um 
So I had to run out and get some uh, canned food since he had to have teeth pulled. And uh, so I just gave him some and he ate it. They said he didn't want to eat anything there. And then I have a bowl in there with some water in case he's thirsty. He's just kind of dazed and confused right now on some pain meds. <laughs> so he's going to have to sleep that off. He has a couple stitches in his chest where the cyst was. And then he has one stitch in his neck. Um, and then he has a couple stitches in his mouth from his teeth getting pulled. And we've got to go back in two weeks to... The ones in the mouth I don't have to worry about, but in two weeks we have to go back to get the other stitches where they removed the two cysts. Um, so everybody's concerned about Mozzie. They keep smelling his mouth. <laughs> I think from whatever they use to clean his teeth. So, yeah, he's doing good though. He's doing good. Um, let me share. I wanted to share how much everything costs. Let me get up off the floor here and, um, share the bill. Okay. So here it is here. I'm going to kind of focus. Uh, that's kind of shadowed. Here we go. Maybe, I don't know if you guys will be able to see. I'll show you first what everything they did. I'll kind of go slow here. In case you want to pause it and read it. And then um, here was all the prices for everything. And here was the grand total. Ugh. And I want to thank Christine so much again for her wonderful donation that she sent to Mozzie um, for his procedure. I thank you so, so much. So, yes, that is the grand total for two cysts being removed and his dental with four teeth being removed. So, and his, um, the only medication he came home with was a pain pill, which is this right here. Here's the name of it right here. And I don't start giving this to him till, it's a tablet. I don't start giving this to him till tomorrow around noon because they gave him an injection of this already at the um, vet. So, yes. So, um, I've got to take him out on a leash when he goes potty so he doesn't um, run or jump or do anything crazy and rip those stitches. Um, I'll probably give him wet food for a little while. Let me show you what, hold on guys. Let me go get what I bought for his wet food. All right. The boys were so jealous when I gave him this too, just a little bit ago. They were so jealous. They were all sniffing in his crate because I stuck it in his crate so he could eat it in there. So these, uh, food hounds wouldn't try to eat it, but <laughs> I'm giving them the blue Buffalo healthy weight chicken dinner. Um, for his um, food here for a little bit till his mouth heals up. So, and then I bought some of these little um, Bill Jack treats. Um, so like when I put him in his um, crate or when he goes to bed at night, he can still get a treat. These are soft uh, little treats that he can have um, till his mouth heals up too. So my boys love these treats. They love them. What's the fat in them? I think they're kind of high in fat. Let's see. Yeah, they are, oh yeah, they're pretty high. Not less than 10%, so, but <laughs> I'll break them in half, so it'll be 5%, right? So, as long as he gets a little treat when he gets in his crate. Yes, you love these, don't you? This is what I use, like, when I potty train them and stuff, too. They really like these treats, so. That's what I'm giving him for treats and for food for the next couple days, till his mouth heals up. So I just wanted to check in and um, let you guys know how he's doing and show you how much everything costs because I know a lot of people like to uh, see that and what kind of medication he's on. So, all right, guys, I'm going to take care of my boy and um, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey, guys, I had to jump back on here because I totally forgot to tell you guys that um, when we went to pick Mozzie up, 
uh, the doctor who did Mozzie's surgery on the cyst and dental had already left for the day, so we didn't get to talk to her. Watch out, Magnum! We didn't get to talk to her about the um, elevated um, liver enzyme. So they wrote her a note to call me when she's back in. So I'll have to um, update you guys when I talk to her. What are you doing, Magnum? <laughs> He's putting his head, under, his head under the crate cover. <laughs> what are you doing? Mozzie will not relax. I keep trying to get him to lay down. He just sits up like this and kind of shakes and... He's just out of it. He, he's zoned out from the pain meds, but he, I'm trying to get him to relax and take a nap, but it's kind of hard with these boys all around, right? Yeah. So, all right, I'm going to go since Milo's blocking my shot. <laughs> all right, guys. Bye. Get out of his crate. Hey, Milo. Milo. Milo, get out of his crate. Yes. <laughs> all right, guys. Ha <laughs> ha.